All right, everyone. So now that we have learned how to draw an ellipse, how to draw a basic cylinder, and we practice drawing different types of cylindrical objects, now we're going to think about taking those skills and uh, trying to draw more complex objects. Okay, so the object that I'm going to uh, use today for my demo is a soy sauce bottle. Um, so if I'm taking a look at this bottle, I'm thinking about how I can break this down into some basic shapes. So when I'm looking at it, I see that I have one cylinder at the very top that's all essentially the same width. I have this part here where it kind of flares out a little bit. And then I have the bottom cylinder again, which is about the same shape. Okay? So I'm thinking about it as... Um, here is like the cap, the first cylinder, the second part, which is the little the diagonal part that kind of goes off and then connects with the bottom part, right? So I have essentially three sections to this bottle. And so when you're doing when you're using analytical drawing for more complicated shapes, you really have to look at, the different parts of the object. Um, for example, if I was drawing this Star Wars cup, we have, I would, if I'm looking at this, I would break it up into two shapes. I have the cylinder for the body of the cup and then this kind of half circle for the handle. Same thing if I'm drawing this um, nail polish bottle, I have kind of a rectangular shape for the base and then a cylinder at top, okay? So whatever object you're looking at, you have to look at it, analyze it, and decide which shapes am I going to put together to help me draw this object. All right, so I'm gonna start with the soy sauce bottle. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw, I'm gonna start with my box, all right? This box obviously is gonna be tall and narrow because the object is relatively tall and narrow. And my box is gonna be about the size of that bottom cylinder here. Okay, so I'm gonna start by drawing the top. Okay, so here's my, uh, my kind of beginning box set my construction lines that I'm going to start with. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is draw the bottom. I'm starting with that ellipse that is in the bottom of the soy sauce bottle, okay? I'm going to find the middle. That midline is going to be important in just a moment. And I'm going to draw that ellipse for the bottom foot of my bottle. Okay, so now I'm going to kind of estimate this cylinder ends about right here before it starts to kind of slope in, right? And so I'm going to say that that's going to end about right here. Okay? So that I know that I'm going to draw my cylinder and it's going to end about right at that part. Okay? Now, I notice that it slopes in, and then the next cylinder I'm going to have to draw is up a little ways. So again, I'm going to estimate. I'm going to start that the neck of the bottle about right here. And this part from here to here is going to be this part of the bottle. All right, so now I am absolutely going to find the center of this, uh, this box right here, okay? Because I know that the neck of my bottle, it is centered. If here's, here's the top ellipse right here that I just drew, that's this part right here. This is centered right, right on top of that. And so I want to make sure when I'm drawing this neck that it's in the right place. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another little box to help me draw my ellipse. And this is the ellipse, this is the start of the neck. 
and this is the top cap, okay? So now that I've drawn the neck and kind of where the cap is going to be, I now can just connect these two. I know that it just, it angles in, it has a little bit of a curve. There, and then I can go in, I can add details, I can have the cap here, it's got some ridges on it, etc. Um, when you are doing your practice, I am going to ask that you do the details because it is important to kind of think about how you would do surface details on, again, a curved surface. Uh, but that's how you do analytical, dra analytical drawing with more complicated objects. Eventually, if you were drawing this way, you would erase all of these construction lines. However, for now, I'm going to ask you to keep them because I do want to see your process and I want to see that you are using that initial box. You have to use that initial box, that you're drawing your ellipses by making these kind of squares and these sections along that initial box. Um, you, you need to find that midpoint so that everything stacks up so your top of your bottle doesn't start going that way, right? Okay.